Well, howdy, y'all, and welcome to now the uh, United States Grand Prix at Cota in uh, Austin, Texas, for the next round of our predictions championship. We're going to be predicting the results of sprint qualifying right now, and then, of course, get into the proper qualifying and Grand Prix uh, later on. So the starting grid, this is just for the sprint here in uh, Texas. It's going to be, wow, an all McLaren front row. That would be a fantastic, uh, fantastic result for a close run championship. Uh, potentially Norris and Piastri, then Russell ahead of Verstappen and Leclerc ahead of Perez. Hamilton starting seventh with Sainz alongside him in eighth. Poor qualifying by Sainz's standards with Gasly and Alonso. Ocon and Stroll in their new liveries, I'm sure, as well. Sonoda and Magnussen, 13th and 14th, with Bottas and Albon. Uh, then we would have uh, we would have Lawson and Hulk and Hulkenberg, Zhuganyu and Franco Colapinto, with, of course, Brendan Lee uh, qualifying ahead of me, as, as always. So the results for the sprint, we started with an all McLaren front row, but uh, it must have been poor starts then from both Norris and Piastri to finish down in fifth and seventh positions. George Russell picking up the eight points and Charles Leclerc in second place with Carlos Sainz in third. Hamilton came fourth with Norris, as I mentioned earlier in fifth. Verstappen down in sixth, so Norris potentially outscoring Verstappen in the sprint, but not by anywhere near enough that he needs to by the end of the season. Piastri finishing ahead of Perez. Outside of the points, Fernando Alonso and Lance Stroll for Aston Martin. Gasly and Magnussen, Tsunoda and Alex Albon uh, with further down in the order. We would have Ocon with Lawson, Hulkenberg, Bottas, uh, Franco Colapinto and uh, well, we have Brendan Lee finishing for my Andretti team ahead of Zhuganyu. So let's see what went wrong with the start. Then we got five lights on and it's dropped the clutch and go, go, go away. Well from the start with the McLarens. It looks like it was Perez getting in between his teammate and the Ferrari on the outside, but Russell taking it the long way around the outside potentially, but Norris holding on here. Perez getting up from the back from from behind Verstappen to in front of him here in P3. Uh, alongside, side by side, they go once again, uh, but Norris holding on. So it must have happened much further on into the sprint as the drivers snake their way through the early S's section after Big Red um, before the big stop uh, leading up to the longest straight, of course, here at Cota. Down here we go into turn 11 now. This is the all-important exit from turn 11. If we do see a big turnaround um, after this first lap, it will be quite something as uh, we've got Norris up there at the top of the order. No DRS for the drivers on this first lap, but of course from the second lap it will be available. No major moves though coming down the order as we run down into that uh, all-important turn 12. Let's see if we can't uh, see any kind of issue here. A 19-lap sprint, uh, but it looks like very little by way of change other than Perez moving forward uh, in the first lap uh, to the uh, quadruple right-hand corner then. And uh, they feed their way through. Nobody making big strides. A fairly undramatic start for the sprint. Uh, and, of course, the drivers will have the op opportunity to... Uh, change their setup in between the sprint and the qualifying session but that's how the first lap went down so the results from the qualifying session sees a very different uh, shape than the sprint race saw with Charles Leclerc finishing in pole position a pole position time of 1 minute 30.727 finishing over a tenth of a second away from George Russell but then comes a very interesting and close field that would be tremendous to see Russell finishing ahead of Lewis Hamilton with Max Verstappen ahead of his teammate Perez by only one a hundredth of a second. Lando Norris in sixth. Uh, uh, not good for our uh, close championship with Fernando Alonso in seventh and compatriot Carlos Sainz in eighth. Piastri down in ninth needs to move forward to play a part in the, uh, in the championship uh, positions with Lance Stroll finishing tenth. Gasly ahead of Ocon again uh, with then Albon and Tsunoda. Magnussen and Bottas Hülkenberg ahead of Zhuganyu. Liam Lawson in 19th, Franco Colapinto in 20th. Uh, that would be uh, rather interesting to see indeed. Let's uh, move on then to the race. 
Well, it was Charles Leclerc that started on pole. It looks like it's Charles Leclerc who finishes in first position and he's got his teammate on the podium alongside him. Let's wait to see. It is a third position of 1-3 for Ferrari and there's plenty of uh, Ferrari fans out there in Austin, Texas as well to enjoy. It would be a very popular win and good to see another uh, multiple winner of Grand Prix for the season. Max Verstappen finishing in second position and a very happy looking Carlos Sainz there in third place as well. Max Verstappen uh, just looking um, somewhat uh, ambivalent about his uh, experience in being second. Uh, and it's fairly, uh, I guess that's going to be fairly accurate. And it's champagne time then for the Tifosi. Lewis Hamilton and George Russell getting a good result for Mercedes. And current form, you have to say, and Lando Norris, that would be a bitter disappointment and almost a nail in the championship coffin, finishing sixth to Verstappen second. Perez in seventh, splitting the uh, the McLarens. Fernando Alonso finishing in ninth with Pierre Gasly picking up the last point on offer at the Grand Prix. Lance Stroll down in 11th, Sonoda in 12th, Ocon, Hulkenberg, Bottas, Lawson, Albon, uh, Juganyu with uh, Franco Colapinto in 19th. Looks like my teammate didn't manage to convert uh, into a decent result, uh, but did finish ahead of Magnussen, who failed to finish. Let's have a look at uh, the other incidents uh, there for no incidents during the Grand Prix. And we have a look then at the strategy uh, in play. Soft, medium to hard or soft, medium, medium was the way uh, that the race seemed to run. It seemed to work for Russell to use the hards as well as the top two in the order. Presumably fairly early uh, pit stops for those two. Um, along then with a one-stopper for Pierre Gasly, converting that. Not uh, Nico Hulkenberg didn't use the soft tyres, neither did Jugan Yu. The only drivers uh, to not use those tyres, it seems. And then a mixture we also saw um, from Jugan Yu, a medium-hard, hard option there, instead of the medium, medium-hard from Hulkenberg. Uh, no pit stops have been recorded, um, so we can't see how early uh, they, uh, they went in. We could probably get an idea um, from the lap times. Must have been lap 14 uh, for uh, Leclerc to shed the, hard, the soft tyres. Um, running on to then lap 33 before his second stop to fit the hards to the end. Uh, so really interesting result there for the Grand Prix and on the pit stops. Uh, let's have a look at how our current championship uh, is going to look uh, as a result. Now, this is just taken from the halfway point of the F1 2024 season when we started doing these predictions. That puts Leclerc 17 ahead of Verstappen. Norris uh, only level on points with his teammate uh, as the situation was a few uh, weekends ago. Carlos Sainz outscoring the McLarens, though, over the course of this second half of the season so far. Um, so, yes, absolutely uh, very, very intriguing if this, uh, if this was indeed split between the two. It does seem to have favoured, this recent update seems to have favoured Ferrari. McLaren got the pole and the second, uh, second position for the sprint race. That does kind of bear a little bit of, um, of scrutiny um, and does pass scrutiny, as, as it were. To, uh, to see that McLaren um, starting the weekend strong, but perhaps not finishing it so well. Let's take a look then at the, um, at the replay of the race start. The race start then with Leclerc alongside Russell at the front of the grid. It is drop the clutch and go, go, go. And straight away, Russell streaking into an early lead with a great start. Leclerc obviously had to do this from at least second, if not third, as, as uh, Lewis Hamilton draws alongside. And it is Verstappen taking a very circumspect uh, route through the first couple of corners, just very patiently here with the most to lose of anybody and uh, taking it uncharacteristically steadily uh, at the start here then we've got Russell Leclerc Hamilton the starting uh, group Piastri in fifth Perez in sixth with Alonso there in second in uh, in seventh position uh, Sainz down in eighth and Norris all the way down in ninth so Norris coming back to beat his teammate 
over the course of the Grand Prix length. But again, very uh, little by way of, uh, of changes uh, throughout the first half of this first lap. It looks like Lewis Hamilton getting close and it's uh, Leclerc going defensive on the way into the all-important turn 12. The Mercedes starting very well indeed and running through but uh, Hamilton unable to convert that one with Leclerc still a little bit all over the shop trying to uh, to gather control of the uh, of the Ferrari after starting very poorly but he did manage to convert that in the end into the race win so uh, clearly didn't lose too much in the way of uh, progress versus Russell uh, but already Russell with a good second second and a half of a gap away from the, uh, into the final corner of the first lap. And that's how things worked out for us in the first, uh, first lap of our Grand Prix.